Hello, hello everyone, we're in the greenhouse and I've got another one of my weird experiments to show you. Okay folks, so today's another one of the Eli does experiments so you don't have to greenhouse episode because today I want to talk about something I've been testing out to do with watering in here because, look, let's be honest, we're all the same. We all forget to water things properly sometimes or even forget completely and the next thing you know is you found this little dried up frazzled thing. It's like, what? Ah. So I've been testing out an idea about the whole automated watering thing because you know I've got my quad grows for when things are proper big plants and it does that whole automatic watering thing. So I thought, I wonder how good that same concept is when you're talking about lots of little pots. I know because I've seen it online, so I don't really know, I'm just believing what I see online. But apparently all the big commercial growers do this type of thing. They have huge big beds of plants, like massive tables, and they use the capillary matting, which is the same stuff that's in the quad grows, and they spread it out over there and they keep that wet and then that apparently goes up through the soil in the pots and waters the plants. It sounds awesome. So I thought I would give it a try. And I've been doing this for about maybe three or four weeks now in different ways in the greenhouse. So you might have seen this in other videos, like in the wee seed trays and things. But at the minute, I've got a huge big version of it at the back and I'm going to use this to talk to you about it. Basically, it's this. We've got a huge big tray, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be a tray, it can just be like polythene over the table or whatever, but you know how obsessive I am about things being neat and tidy. So I've got this big tray, which is actually the tray from my Quad Grow Plus, because I'm not using it, so this has come in handy for this. And then I've got some seed trays in here just to raise things off sort of ground level. And this is the thing here. This is capillary matting. So it's exactly the same thing you use in your quad grows to soak the water and the nutrients up into the plants, okay? And what it is, is it's a nice flat bed and the sides tail off down into the bottom of this tray and I pour water into this tray. The theory being that the matting pulls the water up from the bottom of the tree and across and it should give a nice even but even's the best word what's another word can't think of another a nice even and regular watering for the plants the theory is that the plants pull it up because the soil is touching it from the holes in the pot okay now I had tried this in my little seed trays as well and I wasn't 100% sure everything seemed to be soaking wet all the time but I wasn't sure if it's because I was using gravel as well and I used the gravel on top to stop the water evaporating too much. So unfortunately I didn't properly do a control so I'm not sure if it worked, didn't work, worked too well, if the gravel ruined it, I have no idea. So that's why I've tried it on this big bed. That and I was running out of space. So everything is wet at the minute because I watered it before I put it on here okay so I'm following the instructions that I found online that said I had to water everything before I put it on here and um, it's now been a week and nothing has dried out but nothing anywhere else in the greenhouse has dried out either and um, possibly because even though in England down south they're all having a heat wave this last week has been cold and overcast and windy as hell here so it could just be a weather thing um, however I'm not certain so what I did was I've got a control okay this is my test pot and what I did was I just put this on here with everything else I didn't water this one and the reason being, I want to do this with you guys. I want to tip it out and we're going to see if any of the soil in this pot is wet at all. Because if it's wet at all, even damp, that means it's doing its job and it's pulling the water up. Hurrah, this is working. If it's not, then this isn't working quite the way the internet said it would. Because my suspicion is that you need some form of wick in these pots. And I'm, I'm a bit wary of this. So, let's empty this and we'll see. I'm being neat and tidy. I don't like mess. So let's go. Well, it works guys. That soil is most definitely damp at the bottom. Not at the top, but at the bottom. 
So it's clearly drawn it from the bottom. I'm going to get rid of this now. Okay. I'm not going to lie, that's put me in a really weird situation because I was all prepared to do a video today on It Didn't Work. <laughs> Clearly it does work. Hmm. Yes, so this will be Eli, humiliated in the greenhouse. Yeah. Okay, that's good though. That's good news. So that gives us this huge big space for watering the plants that I can, as I'm potting on, I can be putting the pots here and it's all going to get nice and evenly watered. So I'm feeling quite good. I'm feeling confident. We might need an update. Hmm. Okay, guys, I will come back in a couple of weeks with an update. Um, sorry, I'm blown away. I totally wasn't expecting that to work and it worked. That's so awesome. Get me my experiments. Okie dokies, guys. Thank you so much for popping along today. It's just a wee short update on something I'm playing with. Um, I will get you a proper April in the garden and the greenhouse update shortly. Don't worry, because I'm looking around and there's loads more cool stuff to show you than there was last time we did it in March. So that's Fabby. You guys know the rules. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up so I know it's a good one. Click subscribe if you want to join in and see loads more of these. And if you click the wee bell, then you'll get notified every time I post a video so that you don't miss out. Because, you know, nobody likes to be Billy No Mates. But anyways, um, that is me. So coming up, I will do an April catch up in the garden and the greenhouse. We are going to do a little bit about the basil and we're going to talk about how we can prune the basil to get it all nice and healthy and bushy and keep it growing and stuff. See you. Bye.